Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, one of the use cases that I'm personally looking forward to is the day when AI can make AI presentation for audience like you, so that uh, nervous public speakers like me can sit back and applaud while AI does the job. But till that day, which I guess will come soon, based on what Nandan and Satya have been speaking about, uh, you'll have to bear with me. Uh, what I'll take you through is uh, a quick uh, presentation on what we are doing at Axis. Axis, uh, third largest bank. The three things that I would like you to be aware about the bank is, uh, it's a universal bank in India. What that means is, uh, from everyone, you know, the largest industrialist in India, uh, to the you know, guy, the hawker outside here, uh, they use our services. We are expected to provide those services to them because the India opportunity spans that entire pyramid. Uh, and so is the case with retail customers. You know, so we, we are a full service bank, which means a full bouquet of products and services. It's almost impossible for us to pick and choose. We can still do good capital allocation at the corporate strategy level, but we have to be present with the entire bouquet of products and services. Second, uh, every four years, we are doubling our balance sheet. Uh, that's about 18 to 20% growth uh, on a balance sheet size that is about 15 trillion. Uh, so the India market opportunity still is fairly large. We are growing faster than uh, most of our competitors. And lastly, uh, while that's the metric in terms of the physical presence, uh, we are the number one digital bank in the country in terms of just the sheer volumes of uh, business that we do, 31% market share there disproportionately higher than uh, most of the other players. And in some ways, uh, pretty much the first stop for a lot of technology companies to come in and experiment, because we have kept ourselves open to those possibilities. Uh, broadly speaking, in terms of India banking environment, see, the banking business model is quite simple. Uh, you know, you are a source of capital to a lot of people. Uh, the source of capital provides leverage to people for them to be able to go and grow. So if the Indian economy is going to grow at maybe 7 8% with inflation at about 4 or 5%, the nominal GDP growth over the next uh, 10, uh, sorry, 10 years or so is going to be between 12 to 13% uh, annualized, right? Uh, in order to support that growth, banking sector has to grow at 15%. Private sector banks will possibly grow at 18 to 20%. This is a no-brainer. So what we'll have is a fairly good, strong growth. Uh, and we will continue to be a source of capital. So that's responsibility number one. The second responsibility is to do this, you know, distribution of capital in a risk-free manner, in a manner that is prudent. So you need to know how to underwrite well. You need a lot of data. You need to be able to use data to be able to underwrite well. And the last one is you need to build this into a virtuous cycle, which means you need to have customers who trust you. You need to provide them good experience. They come back to you for source of capital. You underwrite them well, and you continue to build them, take them along a path where they are you know, getting better, they are getting more prosperous, and therefore you get more prosperous. If you look at the Indian banking environment, you know the growth is there. We have 52% uh, credit to GDP ratio at this point in time. That's like half of what uh, any developed economy is at at any time. It might be about 30% lower than mid-income size global economies. So there is a fairly good runway still for us to go. And this is just credit to GDP. The GDP by itself is growing at about 11 to 12 percent on a no nominal basis. So, you know, we have a bit of a double engine kind of a growth opportunity out here. The risks are very clear. The, you know, the customer needs are different. India famously lives in uh, 19th, 20th, and 21st century simultaneously. We get to see it every day. So you might try and do as much of automation. People like to walk into branches. Uh, we like to have small and medium businesses which get the comfort that they have a physical presence of a bank, uh, bank branch next to them. Uh, and, you know, you have a farmer who doesn't have access to credit, so there is no one single solution to solving all of these issues. And lastly, there is fairly, you know, we are one country where the digital penetration has gone way faster than digital literacy, and therefore there are all kinds of threats and, you know, related fraud-related risks that are running in this country. Uh, what we've done at Axis Bank, thanks to a lot of work that we do with uh, Microsoft and, you know, in terms of how we are taking uh, some of our solutions to the, uh, you know, to our customers, 
is using AI on you know, a few core areas. The, one of the big areas that we have taken up is the point on trust that I spoke about, which is to make sure that we are able to improve customer experience uh, going forward. And then as that experiment turns you know, into scale, starts become, uh, becoming fruitful, impactful, we will take some of these ideas into the underwriting or the risk uh, part of the business. In terms of what we are doing uh, you know, on uh, improving customer experience with AI, uh, there are two use cases that I'll take you through. There are other things that we are doing which you can see on this slide uh, in terms of how we are using AI, but they are not at scale yet. They are still quite experimental. But the two things that we have done already have reached scale, which I thought would be useful for us uh, you know, to be able to speak and discuss. Uh, the first one, which is uh, what we call Adi, uh, this is, uh, you know, the, when, I, when I spoke about the fact that we are a full-service bank, the bouquet of services that are available and the products that are available is almost impossible for any single, you know, bank employee to be able to service a customer. So if you have a, you know, if you have a branch where we have about 10 or 12 of our employees sitting, it is almost impossible for them to be able to answer every single customer who walks in with a particular query. Because the customer could be anyone, you know, and the product could be anything. The product could be something that we might have introduced 20 years back, or the product could be something that got introduced only last month. It could be a regulatory problem, uh, which you need to be able to sort for the customers. You know, the number of things that the individual needs to know is, you know, is humongous. And the usual thing that happens is you go to the branch, and. I know a lot of you don't go to branch, but our total footfalls in the branches still continues to grow because there is more to India than just being in Bangalore. So someone comes to the branch and he asks the question. The individual there would not have immediate answer. The classic thing was take the request, send it over to someone at HO or some other center in the bank, and then get an answer, then call back the customer tomorrow, or ask them to come next day with another set of documents and solve for it. And like on a continuum, we were providing you know, these chatbots, these virtual assistants, and so on and so forth over the last four years. Effective, uh, but not really uh, being able to manage. Yeah. Uh, the first thing that we were doing was we were sort of, we used this in order to make sure that the natural language capability is there so that the, it, so that the bank employee can actually speak or can actually type in language that is uh, simple for them and the response comes back, which is what this tool does. And the second is this is extremely dynamic in terms of taking all the inputs, every single product, every single regulation, anything that we change, any new uh, feature that we add, and it's on a dynamic basis, it's ready to provide the answer to the agent or to the bank associate. And that improves this, and this is now across all the branches, across all employees, and this is you know, running for the last one year in a fairly good manner. Thanks.